Good morning from Lanzarote. It's St. Patrick's Day. And uh, well, I've come down to see all the setup, see what's going on. We're going to talk about St. Patrick's Day and the parade that's happening a little bit later on. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit of gossip about St. Patrick's Day as well. And we're up here, well, by the Irish Viking, the Irish Centre. I mean, it's a good place to start. And we're going to walk down onto the Avenida. I'll show you a little bit of the Avenida. We'll see some of the Irish bars down there, see what they're doing and stuff like that. And then we'll swing round and we'll go all the way down the old town to where it's all happening. Come on, let's go. Right, let's get going. Oh my God, there's 549 of you on already. So let me show you where I am. I'm right by the Los Hibiscus Hotel, which is just there, look. So we're right by the Los Hibiscus, and we are essentially gonna walk down onto the strip. Now there's a couple of Irish bars here. Obviously you've got the Irish Viking. Um, I don't know what they're doing today. So let me just double check something on my camera and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. There we go. So, Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Ross, John Boy, Maria, anybody else that's been on. Uh, where are you today? I'm in Porta del Carmen because this is where it's all happening at four. Morning, Nicola. Um, Pat's on. This is where it's all happening for St. Patrick's Day. So it'll be a big celebration. But we got a bit of gossip. We got a bit of gossip. Bit of political, a bit of political there. Uh, politicalness <laughs> to talk about a few rants and then you can decide if you're here in Lanzarote where you go and celebrate St Patrick's Day can't you uh, for me just enjoy yourself just enjoy yourself but we have got a little bit of goss and when I get down here I will tell you about it so you've got Paddy's Point here look just seeing if there's anything like advertised of what they're doing on St Patrick's look uh, Paddy's Point has does live music every night look uh, food available so they do live music every day anyway so I assume tonight will be live music and will they open a little bit earlier so let's get down here and I'll tell you what's going down because it's it's kicking off a little bit it's kicking off a little bit about St Patrick's there you go the uh, the, the, the the Asian restaurant look got the old uh, the old Irish flag in good good morning to all my Irish followers um, I know Pat keeps you in order over there in Dublin, doesn't he? <laughs> um, but, right, let's get going. Look, I'll just show you the weather first. So, look, we've got what's called a Kalima again, but it's also with a heat wave. So we're going to be hitting the 30s today. It's going to cool down tomorrow. Um, but, look at that. You can see the Kalima has really sort of hit, hasn't it? And we're right down on the Avenida. So I think what we'll do... <laughs> we'll walk a little bit this way um, in fact I'll go down here and show you the beach and um, and then we'll walk a little bit further up there we'll get as far as Central Atlantico I think because uh, there's O'Reilly's there there are a few more Irish bars a little bit further down but I want to get back I want to get down to the old town because that's where it's all happening so you've got the beach down here look not many people on it yet because it's early doors but look I mean there's a few people swimming look Having a little wander down there. It's beautiful down here, look. Absolutely gorgeous. And am I gonna walk? Yes, come on, we'll walk down. So, happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Um, it, it, it's, yeah, there's a lot of talk about St. Patrick's this year. Um, now, for the last, I don't know, five years, the St. Patrick's uh, Parade has been organized by um, the Irish sort of network of sort of bars and stuff like that these are these are people I, irish folk that have um you know either got irish bars or you know very sort of um part of the irish community here in lanzarote and obviously it's always a great success it's always been a great success and they always do a parade down the um avenida I'm walking on sand here, you know I hate sand. So they always do a parade down the Avenida, which is at one o'clock today. I was gonna do the live later and come and see the parade, but I reckon it's not gonna be very good. And then I was gonna go down to the old town when it was all kicking off to see all the entertainment. But again, I'm not gonna, because I don't think it's gonna be very good. And I'll tell you why. Um, so obviously with the success 
and this is typical of Lanzarote and typical of the Lanzarote sort of uh, government and, and p people in power um, because of the success over the many years of St. Patrick's um, in Puerto del Carmen this year well the town hall have just organized it they've not really involved any or not many of the Irish uh, community the Irish bars and stuff like that and they've literally sort of taken over to the point that I think the entertainment down in the old town tonight which we're gonna go down and have a look is a Tina Turner tribute and a Queen tribute so a lot of the Irish bands here and the Irish musicians are absolutely fuming a lot of the Irish bars are absolutely fuming so I don't know how it's gonna go but if you are here and you want to go and support some of the Irish bars I would take your celebrations that way rather than down to the old town and the harbour but uh, I don't want to get involved really in the politicalness of it but I'm just telling you the chatter that's on the old Facebook <laughs> Facebook's always one for chatter isn't it morning Joanne ah oh, so there you go Will it be any good down there? Well, we're going to go and have a look anyway, aren't we? But first of all, let's go and see if anybody's having an Irish breakfast this morning. Do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking this morning, what can I do for St. Patrick's Day? I could have an Irish breakfast, couldn't I? <laughs> it's not like uh, I can go and have a few Guinnesses because I don't drink. So there is a big banner down here. Um, so this is the Long Beach. That's the beach bar down there, look and this is where they had i think yesterday night or it was it yeah it might have been last night might have been either last night or friday night they had the big networking event for the saint patrick's organization i mean does that look like an irish bar to you <laughs> it certainly doesn't to me and i think this is the problem They've, they've completely cut out um, the Irish bars and the Irish community um, and the Irish business owners and sort of just taken St. Patrick's as if it's just an, as, as if it's just like their carnival, you know? And uh, because they've just had carnival as well, I mean, there will be, I mean, it's, it's great because they have carnival and then they can use the floats and that for St. Patrick's. So it's, it's quite a good thing. But they've organised it all themselves. Look, they've called it Puerto del Carmen Lanzarote. St. Patrick's Day Festival um, in the old town. Look, there's um, concerts, parade, sports and gastronomy. So I think there's going to be down there, sort of like your Canary and Tapas and stuff, which is more Canary and businesses. Hmm, it's all kicked off, look. And you can see the sponsors down there, look absolutely zero or anything to do with any of the Irish apart from Lanzarote, I Lanzarote Island Network but that's it the rest are all sort of government bodies so that's what that's what's kicking off I'm here at the beginning of April what kind of temperature do you think well I haven't got my crystal ball but April we're usually kicking in ready for summer so it should be in the 20s there's another big big banner look so there you go organization the cabildo lanzarote the town hall of tiaz turismo lanzarote <laughs> lanzarote music festival there is nothing on there from sort of irish irish uh, businesses apart from the lanzarote irish network there's a couple there that's it tut 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 so we shall see we shall see eh like i said i'm not getting involved uh dave have you looked around barcelo forteventura mart no i haven't but i'm due to do quite a few videos over in forteventura i may i may pop over tenerife this week i'm not sure i've not decided yet but it, it might be on the cards so come on let's go this way look we've got american indian bar here um, i'm arriving in the morning that's some better show its face the sun is out my darling look at that the fact that the fact is we've got sand in the sky so it's like a, it's what's called a kalima hello my darling how are you i was just i was just saying somebody said the sun's not out it's, it's too hot isn't it oh it is it's gross what's your name my darling it's 
lovely to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, you. Following all your videos. You, where, where are you from? As Dublin. If I'm, Dublin. Yeah. See, are you here for the St. Patrick's? Oh, yeah, I only came yesterday. This is my first time for St. Patrick's Day. Really? So, yeah. Where are you going today? I, uh, we're going to start. When the parade comes down, we're going to join the parade and yeah. then we're going to head down. Right, today, fantastic. Yeah. Well, look, here's a little Mr. Travel on sticker. Oh, brilliant. You're my first Irish, Irish person to say hello on St. Patrick's. So it's give everybody lovely. a wave. Okay. Where are you stopping? Uh, just in Arena Dorada. Right Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Happy St. Patrick's Day. See you later. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your day. Bye. Bless. There you go. Lovely lady. Look. All the way from Dublin. So there you go. Look. The sun is out, but there is sand in the sky. It's called a Kalima. They oft it often happens when we get wind. Well, there's no wind today, um, but it brings over the heat as well. Really intense heat. So there you go. Thank you very much, Joanne. So yeah, if you want to book excursions, trips, tours in Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, Lanzarote, then visit our website. There's a link in bio, travelon.world. Use the code TTK and you'll get yourself a little discount. Look at this place here, look. So these are legal here in Lanzarote. Legal, legal. Think green. <laughs> I don't know how they're legal and I don't know the rules behind it, but if you're into that sort of stuff, well, you're not going to go, uh, you're not going to be disappointed here, look. So we've got up the top there, look, McCall's. That's now got a terrace out of the outside. Look, that's turned into a massive place, that look. It's got a kid's playground. It's got a big terrace out on the front and it's got a lift there. Um, so I'm sure that, that will be doing a lot of stuff. And then opening soon here, look, we got Waikiki's Beach Bar. So that's the next one to open here. So that looks like it's gonna be quite a big one. What's happened to the camera that used to show the beach? Um, which one, the one up in Matagorda? I'm not sure, but a lot of people are asking. There you go, there's Waikiki's Beach, open soon, look. And here's O'Reilly's, look, lots of people here, look, all ready for the celebrations this morning, all having a breakfast ready to get on it today look there's a few people waving over there look and then tequila bar so they're all in there everyone's in the irish bar from there and i think that's what it'll be today doesn't it i, I, I don't think it matters whether you're from uh, oh i've got a lot an age restriction on i don't know whether you whether it matters if you're from ireland england scotland wherever if you come if you if you're here at the moment or you're going out today well, you're all going to go to an Irish bar, aren't you? Let's face it. Uh, where can I get? A, where can I find jet ski locations? Uh, go to our website, travelon.world. You can book 20-minute jet ski. You can be, book 40-minute jet ski, and the 40, 40 minutes, 60 minutes, and 120 minutes will pick you up from your hotel and take you to one of the jet ski centres. If you book 20 minutes, if you're in Puerto del Carmen you'll get it down by the old town, but we'll send you directions. And if you're in Costa de Guise, you'll go to Costa de Guise and we'll send you directions there. Um, if you're in Playa Blanca, you can only do 45 minutes and above. They don't do 20 minutes. So there you go. Can I ask what's preferred more, cash or card in Costa de Guise? Um, there's a few places in Costa de Guise that only accept cash um, for obvious reasons <laughs> that everyone's trying to do. <laughs> Those, the powers to be are trying to screw everybody at the moment, aren't they? Um, so yeah, there's a few places that, that, um, that a lot of places, most places will take cards, but most will, uh, are asking for cash. Hello, mate, how are you? Mr. Mr. Travel on, how are you, my darling? You all right? I'm all right. Where are you guys from? Limerick, Ireland. Limerick, oh, do you know what? I said there's gonna be loads of people from Ireland out today for St. Patrick's. What are you doing today? Hello, darling. What are you doing today? Uh, drinking. I <laughs> know, oh, well, apart from drinking, where are you drinking? Yeah. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking, we're looking. Yeah, you're gonna head you're gonna head and do all the Irish bars. What time are they open? Because they're all blooming closed. You reckon? Oh, bit of shenanigans then. Right, fantastic. Well, I might see you around. So you're from Limerick, where are you stopping? Oh, oh there was another one from Arena Dorada earlier that just said hello. You must all be in there. Yeah. Fantastic. Well look, here's a couple of Mr. Travel on stickers. Look, get them on your case. You can have my face on your case. Have a lovely day and I'll see you later. You're live to a thousand people. <laughs> see ya. Bye bye. There we go. Look, I knew today I, sh I should have got some Mr. Travel on there. St. Patrick's Day stickers, shouldn't I? 
Right, make sure to tap, 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 tap that screen, um, and then more people will join our live. We've got 966, which is not bad. Uh, you should give a sticker to, who should I give a sticker? The person, the next person drinking Guinness. Is it windy in Costa de Guise? Costa de Guise is sometimes called Costa Breezy. Um, it is one of the windiest of the resorts. Um, you can see, Lanzarote does get quite windy, but you can see today, look, trees are beautiful. Look, they're not even moving. So come on, let's, let's head. Let's head, I'll cross over, I think. I'm gonna get run over. Let me cross over here, I'll show you the, show you the sea. And then we'll head um, sort of down Old Town Way, because I am, of course, gonna have to walk back as well, so I've just realized that. The couple having a coffee there, look. Beautiful beach, look. So this is another beach. The Playa Grande Beach runs all the way along Puerto del Carmen, all the way down to the Old Town, look there. So it is beautiful. Kay will be there tomorrow, fantastic. Uh, looks washed, what does washed mean? What does washed mean? You mean it looks cloudy? I'll say it again, just for those of you who might have missed it. It's called a Kalima, where there's like dust and sand in the sky, but it's nearly 30 degrees today. It will be 30 degrees. It's gotta be about 26 already. Someone says their uncle owns a pub here. Fantastic. Um, nice little ice cream place. I think we're gonna go for some gelato later. If you saw the latest video I did on YouTube, um, there's an Italian place that does sort of gelato. Some woman's just give me a right filthy look. I don't know why. <laughs> Literally, some woman has just given me the evilest look in the world. Hands on her hips and everything. I didn't even see her. She's just sort of, I, do you know what? People are so strange, aren't they? Some proper weirdos in the world. Anyway, arriving in May, my favorite place. Um, hello, Pat. Emily Fraser, over the road. Are you over the road? Are you telling me you're over the road or are you telling me to go over the road? So let's have a look here. Look, you've got the Royal, you've got Mojitos, you've got Pinocchios. You've got, uh, well, we've just passed that one, haven't we, O'Reilly's? I mean, that place is getting massive, that O'Reilly's, look. They've built, they've opened the whole of the top floor, look. Then they've got O'Reilly's there. And then they've got McCall's on the, on the corner. I mean, that is a huge, huge operation, isn't it? And so far, that's the busiest place, look. For sure, look. There'll be a lot of boozing going on in there for St. Patrick's, a lot of all day, as people seem to have started very early today. Very early. Right, let's head this way and we'll go and see what's going on. Morning, Dave, from sunny Norfield. Good morning. <laughs> so don't forget, guys, I am live again on Thursday evening on YouTube. So make sure to head over to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing a lot more over on YouTube uh, because TikTok is, well, it's great for short videos but YouTube's better for information videos. So if you want to know about things, head over to YouTube and I'm going live every Thursday evening. Hello, you right. And I'll be able to uh, tell you loads of stuff. So this Thursday, I found a memory box. I don't know if you saw my last TikTok. I found a memory box with so many cool things in from there, uh, from like the 80s and 90s. So I'm going to go through that. <laughs> I'm going to relive my childhood with you, but there will be some funny things in there. So make sure to join me Thursday night, 7.30 on YouTube and head over to my YouTube channel and make sure to subscribe to that because uh, like I said, I've got more videos on there. So uh, what else is happening in this direction? You've got Kings up the top, look, they've got the Irish flags out. And there's a few people in there for, for Brecky as well. They've got the sport on. So they're open nice and early, look. And that's upstairs. And you got the Italians closed. Italians usually open for breakfast. They do a 2.50 breakfast in there. That's strange. King's is dear. Is it expensive in there? What's your thoughts on Lanzarote Village? Lanzarote Village, Lanzarote Village. Nice, I've done a full video on there in my YouTube channel. So go and have a, have a little look. Have a little look on there. Let's just have a little look up here, look. There's a little square here, it's a long beach is just below us, look. 
there's a couple of people having a bit of a kayak over there look stand up paddle that's a cool thing to do look and over there some people put some stickers on here i don't know what they are lots of oh look at these two look they're ready for st patrick's look <laughs> it's not even 9 30 in the morning and people are all dressed up fantastic but i think it's going to be a big i think it's going to be a good atmosphere here regardless of whatever whatever's going on and i think i think the irish bars will do good and i think down the uh down the avenida will do good as well let's see shops are shut still but it is early have you noticed as well if you, uh, there's a lot of people wearing green today even i even i got this morning and uh i went to put a t-shirt and i thought i'd better put a green one on hadn't i <laughs> ah, the things we do eh? the things we do happy st patrick's day to everybody um car was here last december so we've got a thousand people on again brilliant so we're going to head down in this direction we'll head down into the old town there's a couple of irish bars down there as well we'll head past the farionis hotel <clears throat> we'll have a little look look down there um because that might have some irish well there's definitely one irish bar down there for sure and then we'll head down to the old town because that's where it's all kicking off so the parade starts at one o'clock along along the avenida so it's going to start from all the way up there and it's gonna come all the way down. Now I'm surprised that the roads aren't closed. Sometimes they close the roads off. They do for the main carnival. So this is why I'm thinking, I was gonna come all the way up here at one o'clock and, uh, and do the parade. But I'm thinking it's just gonna, it's gonna be really small. I don't think it's gonna be as big as it has been in previous years. And then it'll come all the way down here into the old town. So it'll pass all of here, go all the way up, and people will follow it down. And there'll be a big party down in the old town tonight with Tina Turner and Queen. <laughs> I'm sure they'll have some Irish bands on. I hope they do. Morning, mate. How are you? You're all right? Come to say hello, have you? Where are you from? You're not from Ireland, are you? I've only spoke to Irish people so far today. From Liverpool. Where are you stopping? Oh, I've just, yeah. I just, I started, started just up there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, my darling, what's your name? Karen. And what's your name? John. Karen and John, from Liverpool. Yeah. From Liverpool. So you having a good time? Yeah, yeah. Are you going out on the booze today for the St. Patrick's? Yeah, yeah. Where are you going to go? Along here somewhere. Along here? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, we find ourselves. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, look, here, have a Mr. Travel on. You can have my face on your case now. All right, hey. say hello to everyone. Take You're on to 950 people. Anyone you want to say hello to? Hello to all the Joneses back home. Oh, there you go, the Joneses. There you go. See you later. Lovely to meet you. Bye, bye. The Joneses. Hello, the Joneses in Liverpool. <laughs> There's their Oriental World, the big Chinese restaurant. Is hibiscus good? Um, the hibiscus, it, it's, a, it's a basic three-star accommodation, but location-wise, you saw, I mean... Um, them guys just literally walk down and they're on the front. Um, so it's a great location. It's only a basic accommodation, but they do all inclusive there. Food looks not too bad, uh, basic sort of three star, but it, it, it's good. Clean, basic, and a good place to, uh, to locate yourself. Would you recommend moving to Lanzarote with a child? Um, if, your kid, if your child, your kid is sort of five and under um yeah they'll um, get them straight in spanish school they'll pick up the language quite quickly anything older than that can be a little bit of a struggle here we go the sea view look there's a few greens over there a few green t-shirts over there look and they're having a bit of brekkie in the sea view look and maratonis is busy as well very very uh, popular place maratonis and i always say doesn't look much does it from the outside no sort of uh, glamorous signs up or anything like that. But their reputation is fabulous. Let's cross over because it's getting busy over this side so I can say hello to some people. Tavern's just getting open there, look. And uh, you've got a little pastry shop and cake, cake shop there as well. And then the Buccaneer, look. Buccaneer's open. 
that's ready for breakfast and uh, and St. Patrick's Day and shenanigans this should be busy today eh this is a big corner look big corner for shenanigans it's this big Irish bar and everyone's having brekkie there look enjoying their brekkie getting getting some fuel in ready for the Guinness and whatever else they're drinking today to soak it all up is Charlotte working I'm not sure Mrs Travelon I didn't see her so let's crack on let's crack on uh which he loves lanzarote it's a lovely place isn't it so you've got the bowling alley here and you've got puerto mar they're opening a little bit late they're usually open by now morning mate how are you you're right very good they they do breakfast in here he's ready look he's ready for his first customers of the day <laughs> he's ready and fantastico's open look Fantastico, all cocktails are five euros, look. And you get a T-bone steak for 21.50. That's the offer in there. It sounds fantastico. <laughs> subscribe to Travel On World and YouTube, it's free. It is indeed free, Neil. It's free to subscribe to YouTube, so get on there. It's free to, free to click the like button on here as well. So make sure to press them heart buttons. Let's see if we can attract loads of people. Here's my favourite tat shops, look. You can get all sorts in here, look. You can actually get like a, a, a breast shape melon called melon tits, an erotic penis pepper, or you could go traditional and get some flowers, but there you go. <laughs> there you go. Nothing these guys don't sell, including your genuine fake Lacoste hats. That's not a bad fake, is it? It looks quite nice, that. And that's called the Yippee Shop. Right above there, look, you've got another big Irish bar, uh, the Bram Brew, look. Live music, TV screens, horse racing. And there's quite a few Irish bars here, look. These are, got, these are gonna be busy today, look. Uh, Darby O'Gills. So make sure to come down and support the Irish bars. I know everything's happening down in the old town, um, but remember, those that are not in the old town that give all the Irish entertainment all year round, well, they're here aren't they and it's the busiest day in the in the year for the Irish bars so do a bar crawl you can always end up down in the old town but do a bar crawl first and come and visit the Irish bars because that's what it's all about isn't it <laughs> it's not about anything else but the Irish bars today so uh, definitely think about that before you're heading all the way down straight down to the old town sort of head this head this way and do a little bar crawl all the way down there see if you can do every bar every irish bar along the strip uh, we're coming we're coming to sol lanzarote on the third do you want to come for a look around yes i do a third of what third of april if i'm here yes definitely drop me a drop me a message on here or you can email me at dave at mr uh, this is cardiac hill this is the big cardiac hill look steepest hill in Puerto del Carmen up the top there you've got the, the apartments Morana you've got the Contiki and you've got the Atlantis Las Lomas right at the top of that hill it's easy coming down it's a little bit tricky going up so you've got Murphy's Irish Bar look at the top they've got 10 big screens they've got live racing um, with an in-house bookie look upstairs so if you if you want to flutter well wow, they've got everything there at Murphy's Irish Irish pub up the top look there and that's another big Irish bar. So don't, don't stop, or yes, do stop and visit these places before you head down today. Come and support the Irish bars. That's what it's all about. Um, there's the Galleon, bingo, bingo, afternoon. Oh, he's down at 4 p.m. We had that in Costa de Guise, didn't we? Afternoon bingo, must be a new thing, that. 4 p.m. bingo, there's loads of it, look. They do it at the Blue Marlin as well. 4 p.m. bingo what if the blue marlin and the bar next door are doing bingo at four o'clock and you get confused which numbers <laughs> hopefully they've spoken to each other and uh and they're gonna uh they're, <laughs> they're gonna do it different days does pdc have lani's indian restaurant not a lani's indian lani's has always been sort of um international uh, so there isn't an India, but there's loads of Indian restaurants. There's some sports going on down here. Like there's a sports event down here. I don't know what that is. 
I think it's like a water pole, water volleyball or normal volleyball look. But you can see there. Is it called volleyball that? What's that called? I can't even remember what that's called. But you get, this always happens down here on a Sunday. Look, they've got some bananas down there to keep everyone uh, everyone entertained. So it's nice to come down and have a little look and see them playing the sports as well. One of the main sports here is wrestling. They do wrestling. Good morning. They do some wrestling. So this used to be the beach bar. Um, and there's some toilets down there, look. And what them for? That must be for that uh, for the sports event, look. Lineker's bar up the top there. Not a real Lineker's, I don't think. I don't think it's actually part of like the franchise of Lineker's bar. I know the one in Tenerife is an actual Lineker's bar. Um, but, I mean, they must be allowed to have that because they've been there for years. Um, but it's a great bar for the football if you want to watch the sports. And they've got like a big terrace look and everyone sort of sits on the wall there. Really good atmosphere if you're walking past. Beach volleyball, there you go. Thank you very much, Joe. Uh, have you been to Mumbai Masala in Porto Calero? Uh, no, I've been to Mumbai Masala in Marina Rubicon. I've got a video on my YouTube channel of that. That was very nice. Haven't been to the one in Porto Calero. Or oh, actually, I might have. Do you know what? I think I have. Um, Mumbai Masala is great. A great brand of Indian restaurants. So you can't go wrong with a bit of, bit of Mumbai Masala. Oh, just having a little bit of water. So what we got up here? Well, through that place up there, when me and Mrs. Travel on were reps, when we first came to Lanzarote, that second one there, we lived there. God, it was a hell hole. <laughs> it doesn't look like they've done much to it since then. It was a great place to sit on the balcony and have a nose down, but it was so bad. Um, it was a reps accommodation. It was absolute filthy. But we put up with it. Back in the day, you didn't care, did you? We were living the dream. We were working abroad. We'd live in anything. These days, well, I've told you before, when I was a manager of the reps, they'd come over with so many demands because they've been, they've been bought up. They've been bought up soft, haven't they? And they're like, oh, I want this. I need internet. I need this. I need their... Uh, Duck, duck, duck feather pillows. <laughs> My mum always does this. I always get this at home. Well, not now. You're living abroad and you're living the dream. Crack on. And that was why I left. That's why I left. Because I couldn't deal with these kids anymore. Um, what else? We're arriving Easter Sunday and can't wait. Do they do anything for Easter? Not really. Obviously, they do celebrate Easter because they're a big... Uh, well, the main religion here is Christian. Or I'm not sure if it's Christian Catholic, I don't know. Uh, but they do, it's a quite a religious island. So it's called Semana Santa here. So they have the week off. I think the kids break up on the 23rd. They've got the week off. They'll do some little things, but it'll be nothing sort of uh, touristy or sort of Easter Bunny related, if you like. It'll be more sort of uh, religious sort of ceremonies and stuff like that. So you've got the great Asia there. Um, you've got the Mercadona, which is a great supermarket. This is a good addition, actually, this place here to Porto del Carmen, because it's, uh, it's got the, 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 the good supermarket and everything. And we'll walk around this way and we'll show you a few things down here. Um, so, what's open here? Oh, the bank. <laughs> the bank has opened here. It used to be a shop. And this is the Farionis area. So this is uh, where you've got the Farionis Plus that has just been all done out beautiful place so this is the four star and the five stars just over there I've shown you this loads of times but this is the four star look really nice I've done a video on here as well on my YouTube channel in fact I was gonna say I'll go in and show you the pool but I know a little shortcut down here where I can actually show you right inside so let's go down there we'll have a little nose at the four star Farionis Plus and then we'll head round yeah it's proper changed around here have you done a video on the water parks? Um, the Costa de Guise water parks open, opens on Saturday next week. Um, I've done a short video on TikTok on it, and I think there's a video on Aqua Lava. I've not actually done a full video on the Aqua, of Costa de Guise one, but it's on my list. Maybe I'll go the weekend, or maybe. Depends if I'm in Tenerife or not. I am contemplating going Tenerife. So let's have a little nose down here, look, because 
although there's steps and you lot kill me it'd be good to see right and god let me concentrate on the steps i can't look at anybody's comments right now because i don't want to fall down arse over tit down <laughs> down these steps but this is a shortcut down to the beach if you're in this area look you can jump down these steps here and what i'll do is i'll lift the camera right up and show you that's the beauty of having a camera as well so this is the um this is the Farionis four star look they planted some trees here they've grown too high so i can't even get in there but that's people having brekkie there look so that's where they have brekkie look and they thought they could put a wall up to stop people nosing in but mr travel has got long arms and do you know what else i can do on here which i've just realized i don't know how to do it but I've actually got like a massive selfie stick here and I've just realised that's the first time I've ever done that. Look at that. <laughs> no messing now, is there? There's no messing now. So you can see right over there now. And then we don't even need the selfie stick here, look. Because we've got a really nice view. So there you go, look. People having brekkie there, look. Lovely restaurant and views over the beach look so it all it all comes out over the beach i am a peeping tom roof <laughs> this is ideal for peeping tom in this this camera it's got a big selfie look i don't know if you can see in the reflection there no you can't it's huge it's a lot over there look that's, that's a busy old place isn't it look busy old place some beds are out already and reserved They've got the Irish flags up, look, they've got the St. Patrick's stuff up in the restaurant there, look if you can see that. And a few people chilling. So like I said, it doesn't look like it's sunny today, does it? But believe me, there'll be a lot of people burning today. <laughs> there'll be a lot of people burning today for sure. Because although it doesn't look sunny, because of the sand in the sky, I tell you, it is. And look at that look absolutely gorgeous so you can come all the way out of here you can come out the little gate there look there's a little door right off the pool so if you're chilling in the pool you can do that long arm short pockets exactly joanne exactly that is but that sums me up perfectly and you can come all the way down here look onto this beautiful beach good morning how are you good morning how are you have you been for a swim <laughs> been in and all already. you haven't I certainly have. is it cold it's a little bit cold, but when you get down, it's good. What's your name? John. John, congratulations on getting in the sea at this time Thank of the you morning. Very much and again. where are you from? I'm from Cork in Ireland. Wow, okay. So, what are you doing for St. Patrick's today? You're going to be celebrating well, it or are you going to chill? We are, we're going to chill first, but we'll see. We'll ease into the day. Well, you've already eased into the day. You've just been. <laughs> how cold was it in that water? It's not bad. Did, it's you, not bad. did you sort of give a little twint when you got in? Just a little. There you go. Brilliant. Well, look, here's a little Mr. Travel on sticker. Thank you very much indeed. You're on. TikTok now to about a thousand people and you're going to be on YouTube a little bit good later man. on. All right, lovely to meet Thank you. you very I much. take it you're stopping here as well, aren't you? Absolutely. Is yeah. it good? Fantastic. It looks amazing. Absolutely. Good. Brilliant. Thanks Have very much. Day. And Have you. See you later. Bye. <laughs> I'm stopping at Las Lomas in May. Any reviews? Las Lomas. Uh, Atlantis Las Lomas. Yes, yeah, at the top of Cardiac Hill. Lovely place. Um, three star. Again, very basic, clean, lovely pool area. Um, everyone seems happy there. The only downfall of Las Lomas is at, at the top of um, Cardiac Hill. So it's at the top of a big hill. So get your, walk, get your, get your walking legs ready um, and get training because you'll be up and down that hill <laughs> unless you get a scooter or a taxi. But apart from that, you're fine. It's a good place. Oh, hello from Chester. Any reviews on Isla del Mar? Isla del Mar. Well, no reviews, but I know it's nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look at this. These two are, these two are, how's this hotel? Is it nice? I'm talking to you through glass, but I can hear you. What's your name? Susie, Susie and, and Nicola. And uh, have you been for breakfast yet? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah, really good. Where are you from? Ireland. From Ireland. Yeah. yeah. So you, are you out for St. Patrick's today? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? Uh, we haven't decided yet. Mm, okay. Well. You only arrived yesterday? Fantastic. Well, look, say hello to everyone. You're on to a thousand people. 
<laughs> Here, look, I can give you two Mr. Travel On stickers, look. You can put them on your, on your case and you can have my face on your case now, look. Official. Have a lovely day. You'll be on YouTube later as well, okay? <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> How funny is that? Couldn't hear, you couldn't hear her through the glass. <laughs> this is why I love coming to Porto del Carmen because so many people say hello. And so many people from Ireland as well today, isn't it? Which is just like, I mean, is it coincidental that it's St. Patrick's Day? Or is Porto del Carmen actually, officially, just full of Irish people today? Mind you, we did meet somebody from Liverpool as well, didn't we? Right, come on, let's get up here. Porta del Carmen is very popular for, for Irish visitors though. Lots of Irish visitors come to Porta del Carmen. Not so much Playa Blanca, but it is getting a, a little bit more sort of Irish uh, down there. And Costa de Guise a little bit... Costa de Guise I think is more British. Playa Blanca is a little bit of a mix. Porta del Carmen is a little bit of a mix, but it definitely sways more towards Irish uh, visitors for sure. They love it. Uh, right, what we got here? This is a five-star Farionis. I've shown you this too many times, haven't I? You've all seen this. So let's, uh, well, I'll walk along the front and then I'll come into the, the centre and then we'll head down to the old town. I don't know which way to go down to the old town, actually. Yeah, I'll go up and, up and down, I think. What's the temperature? It's get blooming hot today. I tell you, it's roasting today. It's got to be... It's got to be about 26, 27 right now. And uh, it's going to hit the 30s. It is roasting. I'll just show you in here. I know, I know you've probably seen it before if you've been following the lives, but this hotel's amazing. We'll just have a little nose. I won't go, go too far in, look. I'll just show you the, oh, the smell. There you go, look. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful in here. And I tell you, the smell, the smell is just out of this world. I keep saying this, I keep going into little hotel receptions and there's this like hotel smell now. It must be some kind of new perfume they use. I don't know whether what it does. Maybe it just chills people out. It smells beautiful. You got Finnegan's Wake here um, for the Irish bar. Look, there's one Irish bar there. Um, they're advertising it well, look. St. Patrick's Day Porta del And in there, you've got quite a few little bars and restaurants. I'm just trying to think best way for me to go, whether to go that way or through the square. I think we'll go through the square and out. So this little square should be quite busy today for St. Patrick's as well. Hello, mate, how are you? Are you all right? Are you having an Irish breakfast today? <laughs> How are you doing? Where are you, where are you from? Ireland. What? Dublin. From Dublin. Fantastic. Where are you going tonight? Where are you going today? Probably down to the square and check it out. Yeah? yeah? You're going down there, are you? Well, you've started already, yeah, blooming up. Yeah. How's the brekkie? Is it all right? Yeah, it's good, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. What are your names? Say hello. I'm Buck. Buck. Joe. How are you? Joe. Brendan. Brendan. Jay. Jay. Well, there you go. Have a great day. Here, you can have a couple of stickers, look. You can whack these on your case, or you can just stick them on somebody's back as you're walking around. <laughs> you, can have, you can have my face on your case. That's what we say. Enjoy your day. And uh, you're, you're on to 1,100 people. And I reckon 1,000 of them... I reckon 1,000 of them are from Ireland as well. Have a good day. Enjoy your brekkie. See you later. There you go. More, more guys from Dublin, look. Enjoying a brekkie. An Irish brekkie as well, in Finnegan's. Uh, what you got there, Jimmy's Bar, look. Cocktails and live music. Burger King, and there's that little nightclub underneath there called X Club Lanzarote. Don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. It looks a bit strange to me. What is it? just looks a bit is it a strip club what is it what does it say on the door it's open from 10 until what 10 till 3 30 every day mm. don't know not heard about that place it's either an underground club of some kind <laughs> 
I don't know. Anybody been there? Right, we're going to come right out here, look. And we're going to head down to the old town. Now, I'm thinking I might... I might avoid that hill and come down the front, actually. And then I can come past Playa Chica area. That'll lead us right into the old town harbour. And then I can come back up that hill and then back into Puerto del Carmen where I'm parked. So that might be a better idea. Got the big ferry only sports centre here as well. There's quite a lot around here. Are you near Ficus? Uh, Ficus, 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 Ficus. No, I'm not. That's a, f a lot further up in the old town. So we've just had a look at the ferry only. There's another view of it. Big old hotel, look. This is one of the first hotels ever to be built in Lanzarote. There's old pictures of this place. There's literally nothing around but this hotel. Beautiful. Um, is the old town a good place to stay? Yeah, the old town's really nice. We're heading down to the old town now, so you'll be able to see. Um, you'll be able to see what, what we've got going on down there. Just Googled the X Club, and it's just a nightclub. <laughs> Thanks, Jade. There you go. Looks like a dodgy nightclub to me, and I've never heard anything about it. So there you go, it's just a nightclub. So if you want a nightclub, there you go, the X Club. It's not as dodgy as it sounds. So we're in a little bit of a residential area here, look, but some beautiful houses. Imagine living here, look. This used to be behind here, um, accommodation, um, but that's, that's been knocked down. But this is residential here, look, and we're just gonna swing your left up the top. So these are little bungalows. Some of them are holiday rentals. Some of them are for people that live here, for sure. Uh, what's the temperature right now? Bloody hot very hot it's going to hit the 30s today we've got a kalima which uh, i've said before is sand in the sky but what it does is it brings over the heat as well so it's mega mega hot right we're going to head down here and this should bring us out right by the beach so stay tuned if you want to see a beautiful beach down here because it's gorgeous can see it already look can you see the sea who used to play that game when you went on holiday first one to spot the sea there you go you couldn't really play that game here in Lanzarote you can see the sea from everywhere <laughs> Sandra wants to be here get book in Jamie says I'm rubbing it in <laughs> I always rub it in Jamie can't help it but honestly, when you live here, you do sort of forget. You forget that you live here. It's only on these Sunday morning lives that I look around and I think, wow, I'm very lucky to live where I live. But when you're sort of part of your day to day and you know, you're just running around all day, you sort, of, you sort of forget, to be honest. Coming in June, can't wait. First one to spot the, the tower. <laughs> the tower. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the Lanzarote, the Lanzarote thingy, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go live on one day. Fantastic. Wish I was there now. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks, Stephen. You too. Some lovely little apartments here as well. Holiday apartments. Oh, that one looks empty. I wonder if it's for sale. Well, I'd like to buy that. Ain't got no money though. And here we are on Playa Chica. Absolutely stunning beach this is absolutely stunning it's probably one of my favorite beaches here um little shallow waters amazing for snorkeling and scuba diving now imagine this with the blue skies because i know you lot are looking and thinking it looks really horrible oh, it doesn't look horrible does it but that's with the, the dust and sand in the sky look imagine that with blue skies it is just beautiful it's one of the best beaches i think in lanzarote it's called playa chica and they do loads down here this is where you do the water sport. So if you book jet skis with us um, on our website, www.travelon.world, use the code TTK, you'll save yourself some money. You'll do 20 minute jet skis down here. And if you book 40 minutes and above, they'll pick you up and they'll take you to a little center just off here where you'll do the jet skis. Um, but loads of water sports down in this area here. And there's some public toilets. And uh, do you know what? I reckon I'm gonna have to stop 
I'm dying. <laughs> I'm hoping I see somebody that says, Mr. Travel on. I say, listen, hold my camera a minute. <laughs> so there's public toilets here. I reckon I might have to just nip in here. Let me find a way. Let me find a way. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you down in a minute. And I'm just gonna turn the microphones off. Because I can see I can see the phone. You're down here. If somebody steals the camera, well, I know where you are. And that's the beauty of living in Lanzarote. <laughs> it's safe. Look, I've just I've just left the whole camera equipment outside the toilet. I left it on that wall there, look, and nobody stole it. It is honestly, it's one of the safest places ever. I am taking a risk, so I shouldn't really do that. But I was dying. <laughs> Did I wash my hands? No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't. I was worried about my camera. I was in and out, literally. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I've got the camera in my hand. I can't shake hands with anybody when I meet them. If I do, I use, if I do, I use my left hand. Uh... Scuba divers, look. The scuba divers, look, all getting ready for the day. Look at that. Morning. How are you? You all right? Look at all that equipment. Does it not drive you crazy it's having to... It's like gym training. I couldn't do that. I'd have to... I, is, it wor is it worth it to go under the water, though, and see? You see some nice things, yeah? It's super beautiful here. And you are the instructor, no? And are you on holiday? Yes. Where are you from? Brazil. Brazil? No way. Fantastic. Well, enjoy the diving. Enjoy. See you later, guys. Bye. There you go. Look from Brazil. Diving. Do you know what? They don't float my boat at all. I could not be bothered with putting all that gear on just to go and see some fish. I'd rather go to an aquarium. <laughs> or get a snorkel. I'd just get a snorkel mask on and see it. I, I just couldn't be doing that. I just could not be doing that. I've tried it once and didn't like it. <laughs> scuba diving. Have we got any scuba divers on? Why, why, why do you do these things? Definitely not for me. Right, up that way is gonna lead you up to the old town. Um, <laughs> you, you're not still talking about me going for a wee, ain't you? Um, that'll lead you up to the old town there, which we're gonna go and have a look in a bit. Uh, where in Lanzarote are you? I'm in the old town, Puerto del Carmen. I'm by Playa Chica, and I'm heading up this. Um, can you see Fuerteventura today? No. You can't, you probably could from Playa Blanca, but it's over there somewhere. I can see something in the sky. What the hell is that? I can see a boat right over there. So Fuerteventura is over there. You can't really see it. Not with the Kalima. I'm with you, an aquarium it would be. Thanks, Garen. <laughs> Definitely. Don't have to put all that gear on. And the flippers, yeah, and, and the flippers as well. Do you know, I, I, we, went, we went to Egypt um, on our honeymoon. And I thought it'd be a good idea to do what's called the paddy course, which is like the full diving experience. And you get a certificate afterwards. Complete waste of time and money. They chucked us in a freezing cold pool. I might, honestly, I thought, me, I thought me balls were gonna drop off. And then we went diving. I got a nosebleed, my ears popped. Um, I got the certificate afterwards, but I don't know what that certificate actually means, that I could actually go diving on my own. I wouldn't have a clue. You put them flip-flops on, like the flippers, and then you have to try and walk in them. And then if you can't walk in them, you can put them on while you're in the water trying to float. No thanks. Scuba diving there is great. <laughs> There's an archway of coral that you can go through. Is there? There you go, look, Steve's a scuba diver. 
Well, Steve, send me a picture. That'll do me. <laughs> send me a picture. Now, I could do a bit of snorkeling down there. I don't mind a bit of snorkeling because you're just floating on the top, aren't you? And I bet it's great down there. Dave, where's the music station for St. Patrick's Day? We're heading down there, Nicola. That's where we're going. I'm sure somebody just said morning to me there. Look at these. Imagine stopping in these. Beautiful. Make sure to tap the screen, guys, because we've lost a few followers. There, look. They're stopping on holiday there, look. Or well, they live there. Look at that. Imagine stopping there, look. And this is your view. Right over here. Beautiful. I can hear the word TikTok. Hello. Hello. Again. 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 <laughs> How are you? Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Yeah, You've got the t-shirts on yeah, and everything. Remind me of your names. Did you get you on camera last time? Yes. So you're on double camera? Yeah. Did you get a sticker last time? No. No, because I didn't have them, did I? No, you did not. No, well, there you go. Now you can have my face on your case, look. Oh, and you can put it on your suitcase and then you'll never lose your luggage because my ugly face will be on there. Perfect. So I'll take it you're from Ireland, yeah? Yes, what part? Uh, wow, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, wait, what are you doing for, for today? What celebrations are you doing? We're going down to the the thing the thing down in there yeah the thing. yeah the thing down that way down for the parade as well yeah fantastic few drinks oh yeah a few sure why oh, not i bet you will yeah, bet you uh, what say your names again sorry sam and tom sam and tom lovely to meet you right. have a fantastic you day soon. and yeah. i'll see you, you see soon you you'll be on youtube later <laughs> see you later see bye custard of geese in june can't wait there you go Hey, we've got some good videos today, haven't we? People that are in St. Patrick's uh, t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, love Coral Echo, Fort Aventura. Been there for Christmas for six weeks. Blooming hell. Look how clear the water is down here. So this would be where I would be. Down there, look. Look and see some red crabs down there. It's gorgeous here. I'll be having a little bit of a scuba dive. So there, look. I don't know whether we're going to get in there because it's not open yet, but that is where they'll do the um the parade and stuff well the parade will end down here and that's where they'll do the thing i'm gonna see if i can have a little walk around you can see a big stage there as well <laughs> i knew somebody i knew which would be on there which is like which has got eyes like a hawk <laughs> don't worry i use my left hand uh eight weeks tuesday will be over for mr tiggerific's birthday fantastic oh look at that the waves coming in here down this area and i wouldn't recommend it but somewhere around here you can actually like jump off the wall into the water a lot of the locals do it i wouldn't recommend coming on holiday and doing it because you're going to seriously hurt yourself the locals are sort of uh, born and bred sea creatures they may as well be fish <laughs> so the, the kids know exactly what they're doing are you showing the parade later no karen i can't be bothered because it's at one o'clock and i'm going to be honest i'm not sure how good it's going to be um and i, I I was going to come back and start later and do the do the live at sort of one o'clock to show the parade but there's been a lot of chatter that maybe it won't be too good this year I don't know I don't know I didn't fancy coming all the way back good morning mate how are you you all right ready for the day yeah. always just about <laughs> so you got some nice bars and restaurants up here look and you've got one here called beer and roses um I went and had a look up there actually it's really nice it's got a little terrace is it expensive in a taxi from Costa de Guise to Porto del Carmen? 25 euros, I reckon. 25 euros should get you get you to Porto del Carmen. Um, so it's not too bad. Lovely little walkway down here as well, look. I didn't realize there was little steps down there. Oh, come on, let's go down. All oh, these guys are going down, we'll follow them. Right, I'm not gonna look at the comments for a bit because I'm gonna try and navigate my way down these steps. <laughs> I didn't realise there was little steps down here, look. They're getting a little selfie. I'm heading all the way down. Oh, didn't even know these steps existed, but how lovely is this down here? This is gorgeous. So right by Beer and Roses, look. Little steps that come down. This brings us right to the back of the concert as well. Wow, look at this. So you can come all the way down here, look. Those are the restaurants up the top. You've got a lovely little beach, a uh, little, little bit of beach, little bench here. And then this leads you into the sea. So this is what I said about the locals. Sometimes they can, they'll, they'll jump down there when the tide's right in. 
please don't do it um, because like I said the locals know exactly what they're doing but you can if you feel like it come as close down here again maybe don't maybe maybe just check there's something on the floor down here someone's left a hat and a vape there <laughs> looks like they've given up oh god and some clothes look I don't know whether somebody's just got in and not got out or they're out there swimming but look you can come right in here look and the water comes right up and you could do maybe do a bit of snorkeling off there don't know how safe that would be but it looks beautiful doesn't it i have been there and had a swim fantastic i think i'm not brave enough to get in there um i don't think i could do it but it is lovely to come down here didn't even know that existed so there you go Mr. Travelon learning different places in Lanzarote with you guys. And when we go to different places like Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, I'm always learning. So we can learn together, can't we? Um, let's have a look. Oh, and here it is. I mean, what a life. What an absolutely fantastic life this cat has got. It's probably getting fed daily. Someone will be feeding him or her. Look at that, chilling absolutely chilled how's your life cat <laughs> what a life and there's a couple more look there's a oh look there's a little family look I told you they get fed look they get fed and everything good morning how's your life in lanzarote them two are just chilling over there i'll tell you what i might come back as a cat i think that one would be me down there look that would be me, unsociable, there we go, that's me, look, unsociable, out the way, having a little nose, seeing what's going on, while these like all eat. There you go, Puerto del Carmen cats. Is there any nudist beaches? Uh, in Papagayo, in Playa Blanca, there's a few nudist beaches. The further you go down, the less clothes people wear. Can you fly a small video drone around there? I'll make drone content. Um, I'm not sure on Porto del Carmen because it's close to the airport. There's lots of restrictions in Lanzarote on drones. Um, I've got the 249 gram drone. I would risk it, but I don't know. Morning, you all right? You having a bit of brekkie? Any good? <laughs> a good Irish breakfast. What are you doing today? Chilling down here, having a few drinks. Fantastic. Well, you're on, you're on you're on to a thousand people on TikTok. So, hello. Like, what are your names? Uh, my name is uh, Gerard. Gerard and Raymond. and where are you from? I'm from Louth, uh, what do you call it? About 50 miles north of Dublin. Wow. And where are you from? I'm from halfway between Glasgow and Loughlin. Oh, there you go. Look, fantastic. Well, look here. Have a couple of stickers. Look, you can put them on your case. Yeah, and that's a, that's the name of the channel. You'll be on like you'll be on YouTube later. Oh, there you go. See, there you go. Fantastic. Have a good day, all right? He's got it there. It's on there. See you later. <laughs> there you go. Look, they're having a little bit of an Irish break. Hello, are you following me? Are you following me? Oh, do you know what? You can answer me a question. Do you go know on. when you've done your tour there to um, Fort Ventura on the boat? Yeah. Where did you get that boat? In Playa Blanca. Is that far from here, is it? Yeah. But if you book it on our website, travelon.world, use the code TTK and they'll come and pick you up and take you down there on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Good, yeah. There you go, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, bye. There you go, some Irish people there. Look, getting ready. Oh, hang on, I've just got to do something here. Oh, hang on, I've just got to do something on here. There we go, verify. He's asking me to verify something. Here's uh, my kitchen by Julius. This place we rammed today. They do the uh, good morning, how are you? You all right? They do the carvery, absolutely fantastic. One of the only carveries in Lanzarote, really. Um, she's stalking you, Dave. <laughs> they all do, they all do. Uh, the old Irish will ask anybody anything. <laughs> Who was waving at me? Who was waving at me, John? I didn't see anybody wave. Unless I was uh, fiddling with the phone. It asked me to verify something. So, down here you've got some bars and restaurants so this is where the parade will end so there'll be a parade down here look and uh, yeah this is where it's going to be so let's have a look at what we've got 
And there are some Irish bars down here, to be fair. So you can't grumble, can you? So this is what we've got down here, look. So you've got Dicey Rileys, you've got Spinnakers, you've got the Boys Bar. Um, there's another La Cascada Porta del Carmen, that's a restaurant. So that maybe, they, maybe they're doing the food. Um, and you've got the little sheds look and the little tables. So that's what it's going to be like later on when you come down. And you've got Sammy Girls there, look, Heineken Bar. They've got all the Irish flags out. Well, there's some, there's some other, there's some other little sheds. So they put like little sheds out. That looks pretty cool. Look here, look, I can get up on here. I can get up on here, look and have a look. So there you go, that's where it's gonna be. So it's gonna be here, look. There's another little bar and restaurant here that's gonna do food. And then, let me get my glasses on. I can see there's Heineken bar. There's something else tropical over there. And there's the stage there, look. So that's what's going on. Let's see if I can get you a, a closer view. Let's have a little nose. See, I can walk down here. So the car park's here. You can't park in it though. <laughs> that's why I didn't park down here today. Um, but this is the harbour area. So this is where it's all gonna be. I don't know what time it's gonna open, but like I said, the parade starts at one and then finishes a little bit later. So here's another little view, look. So there's the stage there, look. And everyone's getting ready, look. They've got the beer pumps. I wonder if you'll be able to get a pint of Guinness down here or whether it'll be cans. What do you reckon? I can see they've got a San Miguel pump there. I mean, there better be somewhere to get Guinness on St. Patrick's Day, don't you reckon? Can you bathe in April? Yeah, for sure. Oh, there's another tent over here. Look, let's have a look here. Look, oh, I'm up and down lucky. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's a tent there with some benches. Two stops for drug and alcohol testing on the drive from Playa Blanca. There you go, Mrs. Mrs. Travelon's been stopped twice. Or there are two stops for drug and alcohol testing. There, well that'll be because of the horrible, horrific accident that happened um, with a drunk driver in Playa Blanca. And that's been all over the news, that's terrible. Um, so they're gonna be looking out for that. But there you go. Where is the sun? The sun is out, but it's up there. Buona dia, to bien. A que hora abrieto? Eh, sobre las once o doce. Las perfecto. Muy bien, gracias. There you go, look, so it's gonna be down here. So get yourself down here, um, but go and hit the Irish bars first. This will be going on till late in the evening. So my advice, if you want to support all the local businesses, um, have a little bar crawl <laughs> down Porta del Carmen Strip and then down into the old town and then come down here to, uh, to finish up. <laughs> Do you know any, about any proposal companies in Lanzarote? What are proposal companies? As in proposal of marriage? Do you need a company for that? I thought you just got down on one knee. There are wedding planning companies that will plan weddings and I'm sure they'll do some kind of proposal thing. I'm not sure. There we go. So it's getting busy down here, look. There's a few people sort of mulling around. Look, these guys have got the t-shirts on. Everyone's starting early. You've got a band here. That's some kind of instrument in there, look. And then you've got uh, Ankla restaurant. Ankla restaurant there. Look, they've got all the co the, the unif uniform on, the costumes on. Hello, Hello good morning, how are you? So it's all kicking off, look. And it's right down here. So you can come down this hill here and it'll bring you down here. What you got in there? What's that? A harp. A harp? Wow, you're going to be playing that today? Yeah. No way. Where? Just down here? Uh, just in the... Fantastic. You live here in Lanzarote? Uh, no. No? From Ireland and you brought the harp all the way over? Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. Hello. How are you? So are you, are you going to be doing the music today? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you've come all the way over? Yeah, from Wexford. Wow, that's brilliant. Oh, where, where are you going to be doing that? Because you're on, you're on live to a thousand people. So. Oh my God. Hello. 
Tell us, tell us where you're going to be. We're in the church now, playing at Mass. Yeah. Then we are playing outside the church. Yeah. Then we're playing um, on, the, on the gig rig. Then we're and playing we'll at the parade. Yeah, we'll be at the parade. Wow. The parade. Fantastic, brilliant. Where are you um, I'm from I live here, so but I'm I'm here look, you can stick stick that on one of on one of your things, look. Travel Miss, on world. Travel on world. You'll you'll see it, you'll be on YouTube later and you're live on TikTok right now. Right. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. See you soon. See so there you go, look, these guys have uh, come all the way from Ireland to play the music. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And this is the church lot, so this is where they're doing mass today and they'll have uh, sort of a big celebration there. I'll just take you and show you a little bit, see if you can see it. We won't obviously go in. I don't like going into churches. I just feel a little bit, uh, little bit rude. But look, this is the church, look. Oh my God, it's rammed already. There you go. I think so, Connor, I'm not sure. Inglesia de San Antonio. So there you go, look. Can't really see because it's a bit dark. There'll be lots of people, look, all dressed up, look. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so they're all going to mass, look. It looked, it looked busy in there, to be honest. There weren't many seats. I'm pretty sure that the service is in English as well. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. So down here as well, look, here we go, look. This is all ready, or this is getting ready. Oh, look, these like screaming at me, look. They're on it already. I'm coming up, don't you worry. I've got to get on this hill. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got the music. Play. You've been watching me, have you? <laughs> I've walked all the way down here. Come on then, where are you all from? Glasgow. From Glasgow. Glasgow. I was with the Scotsman from Tenerife. The, the Gypsy Souls, I was with them as well. Look at you all. So you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day? In where are we? I don't know where we are. Well, you made it, you made it look like an, like an Irish bar, even it isn't. So all the way from Glasgow. I've not met any Scottish people today. I do, I do today as well. Fantastic. Well, look, I've only got a couple of stickers left, but you can fight over these, look. You can have a Mr. Travel on stickers, yeah. and you can put my face on your case now. Yeah, there you go, official. What are your names, quickly? Mary. Mary. Raymond. There you go, all the way from Glasgow. Have a good St. Patrick's. I was going to party because I knew you were coming to blog here. There you go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> Blue Belt. I'm, I'm going back that way. <laughs> See you later. Have a good one. Bye. There you go. Look, I honestly thought they were Irish. Look, they're all, they're all proper done up, aren't they? From Glasgow. They'll be they'll be rocking it later, won't they? So you got Sassy's Bar here. That'll be doing stuff for St Patrick's. Um, these have put tables out on here, so this whole sort of street area will be quite busy because um, you've got Mulligans here, look. That's an Irish bar. So they'll be getting ready for the day. Very dark in here. Should we have a little, little peek, look? Oh, there you go. Look, they're ready, look. Hello, good morning. Hello, don't worry, I don't want anything. I'm just showing people the bar. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Fantastic. There you go, look. So you can come in Mulligans there, look. Hello mate, how are you? I'm very good. Ready for the big day. Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. What's your name? Robbie. Robbie. And what's your name, my darling? Yeah. Robbie. And where are you from? Uh, Dublin. Everybody's from Dublin and Ireland yeah, today, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, so, yeah. Where, what are you doing today? Oh, we go to the parade. And yeah, going to watch the parade and mull around here. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Well, look, have a little Mr. Travel on sticker for okay. saying hello. You can put my face on your case now, can't you? Okay. I'll see you later. Have a lovely day. Okay. Happy St. Patrick. See you later. Buena dear. How are you? Um, everybody's around this area. How are you, my man? Oh, I see you in morning. You see me? <laughs> when uh, it's raining, Ireland goes. <laughs> goes. Do I rub it in? What's your name? Paul Grayson. Paul Grayson, where are you from? Tipperary in Ireland. Wow, I'll tell yeah. you what. It's a big celebration down here today, isn't always it? a big celebration. Always. Yeah. What are you going to do today? 
Hat bricky. Yeah. Get a base. Yeah. Watch the parade go by. Yeah. Have a few babies. We're flying home tonight. So oh my God, over. we can't have too many babies, can you? Uh, no, I guess not. No, you'll be all right. Be all you'll right. be all right. Well, look, have a little Mr. Travel on sticker, Thank look. You, you can put my face on your case now. Thank See you later. You, yeah. See you later. Bye. You'll be on YouTube later, all right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Bye. I mean, there was loads of people around. Hello, Ireland. I'll tell you what, Ruth, I feel like I'm in Ireland. I may as well be in Ireland. We better ask Patrick to get himself down, down, down the main town of Dublin and see if there's anybody actually left. <laughs> I, think, I think the only... Uh, <laughs> they're all here. <laughs> really nice atmosphere, though. So I do, I do hope it's good down there, down at the... Uh, at the old town and I'm sure the bars will be rammed won't they there you go got all the flags out there look there's another Irish bar here not quite open yet can't even see what that's called that's called the big tree is it called the big tree it is called the big tree look Irish pub I've not seen that one before so there you go oh he's ready look <laughs> he's ready he's got his he's got his gear on Good morning, you're right. So there's lots of people coming down, look. Uh, we hate St. Patrick's Day. Do you know what, Pat? I, I seen I sent you a video this morning, didn't I, say of a guy a guy moaning in Ireland about St. Patrick's Day and he hates it. That'd be me if I was Irish. <laughs> I wouldn't be getting involved because I'm a miserable git. You got Da Vinci, look, that's busy. And then these guys are all getting to breakfast. There's lots of breakfast going on today. Lots of brekkie. Oh, I'll tell you what, I've got to go through the La Jolla Centre, haven't I? Because there's loads of Irish bars in there. So we'll go through the La Jolla Centre and come out again. There's a little square here as well. And this has got, a, this has got an Irish bar. So you've got the dog and duck. That doesn't sound very Irish to me, but you have got uh, the shamrock on my right, which I'll show you. And you've got Paddy's Bar here. Paddy's Bar getting ready for the day. Good morning. Good morning. Getting ready for the day? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's going to be busy. Do you have any entertainment on today? Is it just drinking? Don't yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Have a good day, all right? And then you've got uh, the shamrock Irish Bar here, look. Oh, come in and say hello. Come on. What you got on today here? Here we go. Oh, oh look, she's all dressed up for me. Look at this. Look at this. Now that is good, isn't it? What's your name, my darling? My name is Anita. Anita. Yeah. And, 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 and is this your bar? No. No. You just work, are you just working here or just visiting here? You're helping out. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Trying to wet the shamrock. No, there you go. Certainly. So what? So what's going on here today? Entertainment or really music? Entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Look, the iPad. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, look, I am Mr. Travel on. If you don't know who I am. That's my channel, and right. you'll be on YouTube a little bit later on. Okay. You're live to a thousand people on TikTok Thank you right very now. Much. Happy Paddy's so Day. So come Happy down Paddy's and say Day. hello, look. <laughs> Brilliant. See you later. Have a good one. Wow, what an atmosphere, right? Eh? It's going to be mental today. It's not even, I don't even know what time it is. It's muted. What's muted? If that was muted for any reason, um, 10, 19, it's only 20 past 10. Everyone's on it already. If that was muted for any reason, don't worry, it'll be on YouTube later. So don't panic. We'll all be rocking and rolling. I was wondering if I turned the microphones back on after I went for a, after I went and relieved myself earlier. Don't play a cheek. You'll not let me live that down, will you? <laughs> so here's La Cascada. This is a beautiful steak restaurant. Um, and they've got the Irish music playing as well in the background there. I don't know where that's coming from. Or is that coming from the from up there, look? Somebody's apartment, look, with the Irish music on. And then I'll take you up here to one of my favourite Irish bars up here. The Irish Rover. I watched this being built. Well, not built, but um, when it was closed and somebody took it over, I came up and watched it all being done out. It's beautiful in here, look. So this will be rammed tonight as well. This will have some entertainment on. I'm going to wave. Good morning, you all right? <laughs> Very good. This will have some entertainment on today. Good morning. And this will, uh, this will definitely 
be open today. Look, you've got a big beer garden here. How are you? You got en entertainment on today here? Yeah. Music? Eh? Hey? Go on then. What you got? <laughs> You're a whistler. Right, get that ready. I'm just going to come round here. We've got a whistler. This is amazing. Right, so it's not open yet. Good morning. Good morning. You ready for the day? Absolutely. It looks amazing. Oh, he's going he's gonna to give me a little bit of a whistle in a minute. I haven't gone home yet from last night. Oh my God, are they still here from last night? Fantastic. Right, he said he's going to give me a whistle. Absolutely. Come on, I'm going to. What's your names first? My name's Patrick Cassidy. Patrick Cassidy. County Down. From County Down. Northern Ireland. And this is a friend of mine, Brian Richard. Brian. Hello. Oh, St. Patrick's Ferry. Fantastic. On St. Patrick's Day. Come on, give us a little tune. Get ready for this. This little tune's called Erna and Nielsen TV. For Ireland, I will not tell her name. It's actually about a love song. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. So you're, you're live to a thousand people on TikTok, that was. Yeah, so that's like playing to a thousand people at a concert, isn't it? Have a lovely day. Happy, happy St. Patrick's. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. There you go. No, no, I'm all right. I got, look, I got one of these uh, tubes with me water in. I do a big walk. Brilliant. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye. And you, and you. There you go, that was something different, wasn't it? For you guys down at the Irish Rover, look. So definitely get yourself down here. There'll be a massive buzz down in this area for sure. And then up through here, look. You've got the Brendan Behan. It's another Irish bar. And this will be buzzing today as well. So this is in the La Jolla Centre. Now the La Jolla Centre doesn't look much, does it? And it's such a shame because it could be amazing it could be absolutely amazing couldn't it but there's so many different sort of um, empty locales but that place is busy all the time and it's such a good atmosphere they have all the live and the live uh, music on and stuff like that um there's somebody said there's a banging curry around here as well is there a curry house in the la jolla center i didn't know that yeah pat enjoyed that pat there you go thought you didn't like st patrick's pat <laughs> Even though, even though it is your day, isn't it? Being called Patrick and all that. Right, come on. Let's get up the, up the road. And there's a few more Irish bars down on this road here, which I may as well take you and have a little look at. And then we'll come down and up. That was nice, wasn't it? The whistle. The whistler. Fantastic. I like new things like that. I might have to put that... Uh, as a separate video on um, on TikTok for sure. I reckon that could go well for St. Patrick's. So I'm definitely gonna put, well, I, I can put, I can definitely put, yeah, I've got an idea. So you've got slant, slally, slally, God, I, I feel like I've been celebrating St. Patrick's already. Sally Jones Irish Bar, Old Town. Um, and then there's another, we've got the Hogan Stands Irish Sports Pub up here. Good morning. So this will be open later. And then there's a Fox's Bar as well. And you've got another one called the Hideout. So there's lots going on in this area. I can hear all the Irish music on in the background. Where are you? I'm in the old town Porta del Carmen for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. There's a Sally Jones on the strip. There is a Sally Jones on the strip as well. I haven't gone that far up the 
the new town strip today because I started sort of in the middle where I parked the car at Paddy's Paradise I think there's a the local bus look not too busy today maybe that's not the one uh, let's have a look funny smell on that corner <laughs> It says a, a cannabis smell, isn't there? There is a cannabis shop around here. Oh, there's the boys, look. That's the boys' bar. And they've got a little bar down in the, uh, in the parade bit as well. And you've got the Hatton Garden down here as well. So, so this bar here is, uh, has got some stuff going on down at the old town. And you, mate, have a good day, you all right? <laughs> so they'll be around there, look. Mrs. T's looking for you. She's pinned a post a few times. Where's Mrs. I, I, she knows where I am, look. Can't she find me on here, Pat? Is she ringing me or something? Let me have a look. I haven't seen a pinned post. Let's have a look. I'll have a look at my other phone, see if she's messaged. Oh my God, I've got 40 messages. What the hell? I'm nothing off Mrs. Travel on though, so it can't be that urgent, can it? Good morning, how are you? Are you heading down for a bit of a celebration today? Oh, yes. Oh, where are you going? Down the old town? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Joan. Joan. Joan and Mary. Joan and Mary. Mary's done one. Look, Mary's off. She don't want to know. Yeah, okay. Well, look, you're on live to a 1,000 people on TikTok. 1,200, actually, oh, and yeah. YouTube. <laughs> Have yourself a little sticker, look. Oh. Mr. Travel on. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, if I wanted a lift. Yeah, um, what we got? Oh, yeah, he's, he's pulling me in to have a little look. What we got? The tote bag. Oh, look. Yeah. Got these. Uh, my wife wants one of these bags, look. The Chloe bags, look. There you go. Fantastic. How are you, mate? You all right? I'm okay. What we got here? The, 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 genuine, the genuine stuff. The, the best prices in Lanzarote. You've got loads of stuff in here, haven't you? I, I'm coming to say hello. I'm coming to say hello. Look, you're, on, you, you're, live, you're live to a thousand people. What's your name? I mean, I mean, uh, Karim. <laughs> what we selling out? Look at this. You've got all the football tops. You've got everything. Very good, very good. The best. Woman, everything. You've got every bags, bags. tote bags, yeah, Mark Jacobs, Chloe, the genuine stuff. Yeah, the best, the crazy price. The best prices and as crazy well. Price. Nice to meet you, my Where man. Where are you from? I'm from Lanzarote. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, England. England. Here, look, that's my channel on YouTube. You're live to a thousand people. I, I follow you. And you're on YouTube, okay? Perfect. You're on here, look. We'll come and do yes. some videos in here. You, yes, you can show me all the all the best products. Man. Brilliant. Yeah. See you later. See you, mate. Bye. <laughs> See you, buddy. Thank you. Cheers. See you later. There you go, look. He was cool, weren't he? He does all the genuine fakes and stuff. I've got to go in and see him. I might go in and do a funny video with him. He's quite a character, isn't he? I can make him famous. Genuine fakes. You know, there's a, there's a few that do the uh, genuine fakes, like in Turkey and stuff, don't they? Um, do I need a lift from Mrs. Travel? No, I'm all right, Mrs. I'm all right for a lift, actually. Right, what we got here, look. Old drunken monkeys getting ready for the day, look. They got the Irish stuff off, all the Irish flags. And up the top there, look, <laughs> he's getting ready for the day as well, look. He's getting ready for the day right up there as well, look. I can't remember the name of that bar, but I will find it out just as soon as we come around this corner. It's called Dicey Riley's. And they've got a bar down in the, uh, in the, in the square bit as well. But you can do, you could do an Irish bar crawl from down, down the front, come all the way down the front, stop at every Irish bar, be a long crawl, and then you could literally crawl down here and finish off down after the parade, couldn't you? Whereabouts are you? I'm in the old town, Puerto del Carmen, look. You've got the uh, Beersphere shopping centre there. <laughs> got big McDonald's at the top. These guys through. Yeah. Coming back, it's terrible. <laughs> There's a McDonald's to your left. There is indeed. Right there, look. 
big Mackie D's. And it's a Mackie D's with a view as well. You should go to Connell's Dugout. That sounds like another Irish bar to me. I don't know whether I can get there today. Uh, no St. Patrick's stuff up in the Biosphere shopping centre. It looks very warm today, it's roasting. Is the buggy work tour worth doing? It's amazing. I've done a full video on my YouTube on that. Uh, you've got two seater buggies and now four seater buggies as well. Um, off road and on road, so you've got everything. Yeah, it's a good shopping centre there, indeed. Oh, that, that was a bit of a steep hill, that. I'm worn out. But we're going to go down back by Paddy's Paradise and head down there. Uh, we're in Player Blanca, it's my son's birthday today, and we're doing the. Hello, how are you? Wow, you, you look beautiful. Whoa, 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 don't you... you don't need to turn it. Look, I'll turn it for you. Come here. Come here, come here. What's your name? What's your name? Bridget. 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 You... Jack. And where are, you, where are you heading now? To Mass. You're going to Matt? I've just, I've just been down there, it's rammed. You're not getting, you're not getting. Will you behave yourself all right? Are you, do, you, do you know which channel you're on? No. You're on YouTube to a thousand people. Oh. Say hello. <laughs> are you, don't worry, and you're on TikTok, TikTok as well, so have a look. Here, here look, that's the name of the channel, travel on. You've got, you got a sticker now, Bridget, you'll never forget. Oh. See you later, <laughs> bye. Jesus, Bridget nearly ripped me camera out of my hand then. <laughs> There's the buggies, the person that was asking, look. So these are the four-seater buggies. Um, these are what I've been on, so they're the four-seater ones, and they're heading out for the day. They're amazing, look at them. <laughs> Bridget, <laughs> she nearly blooming ripped the blooming camera out of the hands then. <laughs> Bless them. They're off to mass. Look at that, they don't seem like they were going, they look like they were going disco dancing. I don't know about going mass. <laughs> Can you do more of the comparison videos? Yeah, I love that. I'm going to do definitely do some more of the comparison videos. I really enjoyed doing them as well. And they weren't too much work. Um, now I've got the studio built, I can do more videos like that. So thanks for uh, giving me that feedback on that because I always like to know which videos, well, I can see which videos work and which don't. Because um, if, if you lot are watching them all the way through, then TikTok and YouTube push them out more. So I know from that, but... Mass, mass and biz up, yeah, indeed. Those buggies are brilliant. They are indeed. They are indeed. So um, if you're stopping at like at the top of Cardiac Hill, this way is a bit of a flatter walk. Save you going up the hill. Um, but you, either way, you're either going to have to go up Cardiac Hill or this hill here. Um, a travel advisor and I'm a travel advisor and it? it's honestly so helpful. Thank you very much, Mr. Travel Advisor. Neutral, neutral tuck slash AR. Thank you very much. I, I do try and help and just give honest. I'll just give honesty, me. I'm just an honest, an honest geezer. Talking crap on a Sunday morning in Lanzarote and can help you with all your trips and tours if you need them. Hello, mate. You're right. There's the Farionis, another Farionis, that's the Farionis Apartments. Let's cross over, see if we can see anybody. I've done a video in there as well with a lovely couple from Ireland and they showed me a room in there as well. Farionis Apartments, beautiful place. Lots of people there getting ready for going home, look. People going home, finish their, their holiday, good morning. No one stopped me there and they had a case as well. I could have put my face on their case with them stickers, couldn't I? Farionis, Ernest, great spot. Yeah, the Farionis location wise, I mean, let's face it, they bought the land up very early in early doors. Like I said, that was the first ever hotel. Um, so I'm not sure the guy that owns it owns a lot in Lanzarote. Um, big family. I think they own the Princess Yiza as well. Absolutely minted <laughs> can you imagine being part of that family that were the first hotel back so many years ago when tourism wasn't even tourism and then it just grown and grown and grown and grown and grown they own so much absolute minted uh, just just got up to them and slapped one on it yeah can you imagine if i did that <laughs> 
Oh, we, oh we've, we've still got some more Irish bars here. Look, you've got Slattery's. Let's come down to Slattery's. These girls are getting the bus, maybe to the market. So there's Burger King, look over there. And we came this way, so this is where we came. We came all the way around, uh, around by the Farionis um, apartments, didn't we? Not Farionis apartments, the Farionis player, and then we came down the Farionis hotel. We've been on a bit of a walk today. When are you going to Fortaventura, please? Would love to see Tindaya. I've done a full video on Tindaya, Sarah. Go onto my YouTube channel, put the word Tindaya on. I think there's two or three videos. Me and Alfie went there for the night, um, and we went all the way down there, and I've done a full video showing you everything. Food, lunch, dinner, room, pool, everything. And it's on my YouTube channel, so head over to the YouTube channel. And those of you that are on here that have not subscribed to YouTube, get over there and subscribe to it. That's where all the main videos are. That's where I'm mainly focusing everything. And I've only got 16,000 on YouTube, which is 10 times the work of getting 108,000 on blooming TikTok. Um, so if all of, <laughs> if all of you 1,000 people go over and follow YouTube, well, you'd be doing me a great favor for St. Patrick's, wouldn't you? And it's free to subscribe. A lot of people think, you think that when you press subscribe on YouTube, you have to pay. It's free. But you do need a Google account. That's maybe what's stopping some people. Oh, here we go. 50% sale in Superdry. Get some bargains in there, look. I've never, I don't, I don't understand that Superdry. They're in all the airports and everything, can't they? I don't, I very rarely see anybody wearing anything from Super Dry. Does anybody wear Super Dry? Yeah. Why is it called Super Dry? Does it keep you dry? Got another little designer shop there, 40% off in there as well. Some good sales on. Well, we've got some flip flops in here. Jack wanted some flip flops. How much are they? New Balance, 46 euros. That's quite a lot. Hello, how are you? You all right? Got some New Balance flip flops. Nice. Pink flip-flops, there's no pink ones in there, Rufy. And you've got a uh, perfume shop as well next door. And there's an Adidas shop somewhere in here. I've probably passed it already, haven't I? I didn't even point it out. And you've got the famous sketches over the road, look. I've shown you the sketches before, haven't I? I don't know whether they're cheaper than back home. Well, everyone loves a pair of sketches. I've got some sketches on. I could do with some new ones, actually. I'm wearing my trainers out so much doing these bloody live mega walks. So it does look like they're stopping the parking down on the front. Although there are some cars. So I don't know how big this parade is gonna be. Because like I said, the actual parade for carnival, they close the road completely. How far is the parade going? It should start up here, it'll come all the way along the strip and then it was, thank you, Doug. I appreciate you subscribing to my YouTube. It'll come all the way down the strip and then it'll head down to the old town where we've just been. So you can sort of walk behind it, follow it, get a few cans or something and walk down. Or like I said before, do a little bar crawl, hit the Irish bars, give them some support all the way down. Um, and <laughs> whether you make it down to the old town or not, I don't know. I bet you won't. <laughs> But there'll be, so, there'll be so much going on today. Thanks everyone for subscribing on the YouTube. Thank you, Nicola, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, YouTube is the one. That's where I post all the videos first. So if you want to see all the videos first, go onto YouTube. Uh, and then I put them on second on, on TikTok. Um, and the YouTube has got more informative ones. So that lady that was asking about the Tindaya, um, like just search the name of the hotel. Chances are I've done it. Morning, you're right. We've got the uh, Tropicana Grill there, look. Some Irish bar there. Up there, look, Sun Lounge. They do a pound, a pound a pint. A euro a pint up there. It's the only place I know that does a one euro pint look up there at Sun Lounge. And they've got it on there, look. Uh, one euro, ev one euro large beer every day from 12 till five. So there you go. The only place I know with a one euro pint. Oh, here we go, look, this is busy for breakfast. Blue Marlin here, look. Morning, you're all right. Hello, mate, you're all right. We've got the galleon, look. Everyone's getting brekkie in the galleon. And then Murphy's Irish Bar at the top we showed you earlier. 
that'll be busy today they'll be getting ready for the day there you go look and there's cardiac hill cardiac hill look all the way up there look <laughs> These guys in green are sort of staggering down there. I don't know whether they'll get back up after a day of celebrating St. Patrick's, look. But it's a sea of green. It's a sea of green down here in Porta del Carmen, look. Thanks, Joanne. And whether people are wearing a St. Patrick's Day t-shirt or not, everyone's slipped something on green today, including me, eh? Including me. I've got the green t-shirt on. It's just got to be done. They're getting busy look for the day. McAllister's look, they're open now. Bit of music on in the background. Music from 9.30 up there. Look, live music from 9.30. So they're going to be doing live music there. Gallagher Sports Bar, Derby O'Gills, and you've got the Brown Brown Burrow. Burrow, Burrow? I probably pronounced that wrong at the top look. Morning. Cyclists coming down there at warp speed look. No matter where you go, there's always one to annoy you. <laughs> but we won't rant too much. Where the hell am I going here? Because I'm stopped at Par Paddy's Paradise, haven't I? Which is up here. I was just thinking where, where I've parked. Where have I parked? Have I just passed where I've parked? No, it's down here. Yeah, I've definitely got a little bit more walking to do. Two euro of a large beer there, look. Fantastico is busy, busy, busy now. It was dead when we walked past, wasn't it, this morning? But everyone's getting their brekkie in now. Hello. A few people there having brekkie. Cocktails are fiver in here. He's the number one PR, look. He's always grabbing them in there. In Porto Mar. They've got a 350 breakfast in there. 350 breakfast, that's not bad, is it? That's a restaurant grill. And what's this? English breakfast, 350. Happy hour, cocktails, five, beer, 250. And tapas special for two, two persons. Bit of tat, bit of tat for Pat. And shenanigans, look. You ain't gonna get a table in here for love nor money in about an hour or so, look. Bloody hell, look. How are you? All right. Oh, I am on. You're on TikTok now. To a, you call. Don't call me over and say TikTok. You're on to a thousand people. Okay. How are you? Say hello. Hi guys. Hi. Where you all from? Uh, St. Helens. St. Helens. Yeah. Wow. And you just here here on holiday. Come over for St. Patrick's. It's your birthday today. It's your birthday today. Yeah. Well, there you go. You got a happy birthday and a happy St. Patrick's Day as well. Thank you. And you, you're, you're, you're going to go on YouTube later on this one here, look. What, what's your name? Jody. Jody. Are you feeling a bit tender today, are you? How long have you been here? Since Thursday. Oh, my God. So, you, and when are you going back? Tuesday. Well, you still just got to get back on it. Yeah. Air of the dog, have breakfast. Well, look, say hello to everyone. You're on to a thousand people on TikTok right now. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Bless them. They're ready for the day. Oh, look at these lot. Look, we'll come and say hello to these lot. Hello. hello. You lot look fantastic. Yeah. Are you ready for, you, you, I was going to say, you're ready for the day? Totally. You're totally ready for the day. Where, what are, you, are you on the booze already as well? Yeah. What, what, what are we on? <laughs> what's, your, what's your plans today? Parade and drink. Fantastic. And where are you from? Cork. Well, there you go. There you go. She's got me on TikTok there, look. Yeah. Well, look, I'm going to give you a couple of these, look, if I've got any left. No, oh, well, actually, I haven't got any left, so. Oh, I have. I've got one left. You can have a little Mr. Travel on sticker, look. You can put my face on your case now, look. Have a great St. Patrick's. Enjoy yourself. She's watching me down there. She's very quiet. Enjoy. See you later. Bye, bye, bye. God, they looked the part, didn't they? So shenanigans booming. Buccaneers booming as well. Look, loads of people in there. Hello, how are you? You all right? <laughs> Loads of people in the Buccaneer. I tell you what, it's all going off, isn't it? Definitely. Hello. Hello. God, you're, you're, you're full of energy today. Look, is that breakfast? How are you? Are you ready for the day today? Where are you going? Home. You're going home? 
You're not going to St. Patrick's Parade, no? Well, have, have a safe flight home. Where are you from? Cardiff. Cardiff. Enjoy yourself. See you later. You're going to be on YouTube later, all right? Cool. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Hello, my darling. You all right? There you go. They're off home. He looked like Louis Walsh. Did you see that? I was going to say, but I didn't want to offend him. <laughs> he looked like Louis Walsh. He's in the Big Brother house, isn't he? Caught in mayhem. Good morning. Hello. How are you, mate? You all right? Yeah, very good. Hi. Hey, how are you? You all right? Very, very good. I was going to say you're having a breakfast, but you're having a beer. Absolutely. Getting ready for... You going out for St. Patrick's Absolutely. today? Brilliant. Oh, you, oh, there you go. Fantastic. What, where, but where are you from? Coventry. Coventry? Yeah. My, Mrs. Travelon's from Coventry. But you are not. Well, I'm not from Coventry. The wife's from Coventry. Oh, yeah. And you married an Irishman. Where are you from? Oh, wow. Coventry the, now. Coventry now, but Tipperary originally. Well, have a great St. Patrick's. You, have a good day. Yeah, See you later. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. There you go. Look, oh, this is a new place and it's not been open before. Ego Market. I don't know what they do in here, but it's a shop. Oh, and they do bubble tea, I think. Don't you trip over there, look. It's only, the day has only just started. Hello. You're, and you're already tripping upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, look. So Ego Market, it's just a supermarket. I thought this was gonna be like some kind of special supermarket, um, but I think they do bubble tea. Oh, quite disappointed with that. I thought that was going to be some kind of like special sort of Lanzarote sort of special food market, but it's not just another supermarket by the looks of it. It does look nice there though, doesn't it? And they, I think they did bubble tea there, I'm not sure. Um, but, but I thought it was going to be one of these places that sold like traditional sort of products and that. Can't beat a good old supermarket to get yourself a can of pop and a bag of sweets so can you? Yeah, someone's just saying about the Kalima. That is a Kalima. It's a bad one today as well, look. Really is filling the sky full of sand. So although it looks bad, it's not. So we're going to come up here because I've parked up here, look. And then let me swing you around, actually. Let's just have a look here a minute. Flip camera. Here I am, look. Told you I was wearing green, look. I blended into the bins. <laughs> I've got the same colour t-shirt on as the bins, look. Just for St. Patrick's. So there you go. Bit of a monster walk today, wasn't it? So whatever you're doing, whether you're in Lanzarote or back home, which most of you are, enjoy St. Patrick's. Have a good day. He's blowing balloons up, look. Sorry? You're blowing balloons up? All of them, yeah. Look, he's getting the balloons blown up in here, look. <laughs> oh my God. You need one of them machines. <laughs> he's getting the Guinness balloons blown up, look. Um, that was a good live today, wasn't it? Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much to all the moderators that have been on today as well, answering all your questions. Because I tell you what, TikTok, I can't see a thing. I can pick up a couple of questions here and there. Look at the state of my car. Absolute filthy. Absolute filthy. So, whew, thanks to all the moderators that have been on today um, and helping out. I really do appreciate everything. I'm not going to name you all, but... You're just called the mods, ain't you? You do a great job answering all the questions. Have a great St. Patrick's, whatever you're doing. If you're here in Lanzarote, get yourself out. Go and do a little bar crawl. Go and hit down in the old town um, and see what's going on down there. Enjoy it. It looks like it's going to be a great atmosphere. I hope it is. Anyway, whew, I shall see you Thursday on YouTube for live where we're going to go and we're going to look at some real old stuff. I've found a little memory box. We'll have a bit of fun. I'll see you later.